Hello and welcome to another update video about Cardano. Yeah, Cardano, not much to say. Still an update here because we've made a new swing low. Cardano is moving in the direction uh, indicated into the to closer towards the target area here that I've highlighted on the chart between 30 and 55 cents. That is still the ideal area for a reversal here in the current scenario for Cardano. Even if there was any sort of short term upside, I would still stick with this. Um, uh, hold on to this target area yeah and the reason for that is that it's just the ideal target level that is sitting between the 78.6 percent fibonacci level and the 88.7 and here very recently i mean i've been telling you now for weeks that we can expect lower prices for many altcoins that of course there was some upside potential here at the key support level of 75 cents Cardano tried something didn't get above 91 cents that was pretty much where the previous swing high was um, got rejected and has as a result come down. We then saw the 75 cent level broke. I told you that if we break below the 75 cents, oops, you can see some more significant downside. And since we broke that, you can see this red candle that is actually quite, quite large compared to the previous ones on the eight hour chart here. I can go to the four hour maybe. And uh, yeah, you can see that the candles that have come up here in green, they are quite weak at the moment. The red candle is quite large, quite significant. Um, nothing too crazy though, but we are dropping. We're dropping a little bit less um, <clears throat> than I thought we would when we break that level, but I also showed you that we were already quite oversold. So at some point here, there will be a corrective move up. Um, but now that we have lost key support, where would be the next opportunity for the price to temporarily turn around? And if we zoom out, I probably have to go again to the higher level time frame to zoom out a little bit more. So the only time we really came, I mean, we came a few times, I think, in that area, didn't we? What was um, here? So we had a bit of a, a buy zone here back in 2018. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to go onto the daily chart, try to zoom out a little bit more. And then we add the VPVR to the chart to capture all the historical volume and well, okay, there isn't much there in terms of historical volume. So let's zoom in further, see if we can see any sort of small spike. And there you can see that there will be some historical volume here in the area between 60. But that is the level that I mentioned before anyway, 69, 68 cents. This is where we can expect some support. I told you about that already before. When we drop below 75, the really the last level where we can expect some support here is around that 68 cent level. Also showed you here back in February 21, we had a significant swing low here in the area. That is probably why we find a little bit of support there currently, but overall um, there isn't much there. And therefore when we get below that level, I think we can go quite quickly to the 55 cent level. Amazing entry prices for Cardano in my opinion. And overall from there at some point then we should see the reversal to the upside. That is still what I expect. Um, at the moment, obviously dropping in line with expectations. Um, and um, are we? where are we in terms of the EMAs? I'm sure we are probably below all the, the uh, EMA ribbon, I mean. Yeah, so here short signal, we have that short signal in the middle of April on the EMA ribbon indicator. Um, let's go to the four day chart. Even here we are below the four day EMA ribbon still, of course, on the weekly as well. And on the monthly, I don't even know if we have one here on the monthly. That is quite interesting though. If you take a look here on the monthly EMA ribbon, you can see that the last EMA is exactly at 55 cents. So that will provide in additional support as well. Yeah. Um, overall, in terms of the monthly MACD, you can see <coughs> that uh, it is going down further and further. Yeah. So there is also no slowing down at the moment of the monthly MACD, the RSI has dropped below 50 into the bearish range. So, I mean, we have to understand the lower this goes actually on the RSI, the better, because it gives Cardano in its next move up the chance to start really from very, very low indicator level. So it will take a, ta take a while until it really, um, until it really recovers or until it really reaches a peak on these indicators, which means that um, it can go higher probably in a shorter period of time or it won't get exhausted that quickly. But that is what I've been talking about for weeks and months now, that these indicators just need to come low 
um, to really recover and uh, to reset basically before they can move up again. Um, so what else do we have here? Let's put the EMA ribbon away. Uh, where was the EMA ribbon here? So let's put that away. And um, yeah, overall that potential uptrend that we had here that was invalidated anyway with it going below 75 cents now. So in the end, this was just a corrective move up within an overall downtrend. And we are now not far away from the 55 cent level. And there isn't much more to talk about. So there's another chance of a 22% drop before we reach the 55 cent level. Overall, to max out the entire target area, we have the potential and the space to drop another 56%. So overall here as well, Cardano still has space, which is good because if Bitcoin drops, we still can um, max out the target area without getting into problematic price ranges. And this is my view about Cardano at the moment. Hopefully you liked the update. If you did, please hit the like button, leave a comment, subscribe. And if you really like the content, then check out the channel membership. Thanks a lot for watching. Bye-bye.